given a is equal to mod of x plus 3 plus mod of x minus 2 minus mod of 2x minus 8, the maximum value of mod is. So with mod, we see here is 2x minus 8. So let's split that first. So we will have mod of x plus 3 plus mod of x minus 2. I am writing this as 2 times of mod of x minus 4, which is going to be mod of x minus 4 minus mod of x minus 4. So I am trying to rewrite this like this. So mod of x plus 3 minus mod of x minus 4 plus mod of x minus 2 minus mod of x minus 4. Now with the critical points, I am trying to see the distance between or x and 3, 4, minus 4 and minus 2. From there we will be able to figure out what the value of a could be here. Now the critical point x plus 3 is equal to 0. So minus 3 x minus 2 equal to 0, 2, x minus 4 equal to 0, so that's 4. So on the line, let's take minus 3, 2 and 4. Now x could be anywhere, it could be between here less than minus 3, it could be between minus 3 and 2, 2 and 4 or more than 4, it could be anywhere. So for every case, we'll have to figure out what this value would be and I'll have to find the maximum value of modulus of a. So it doesn't matter the sign, I'm just looking at the value, the magnitude of the value. Now let's say x falls over here, somewhere over here. Now I notice this mod of x plus 3 minus mod of x minus 4 is nothing but the distance between mod of x plus 3 and x minus 4, right? Or whatever distance I have over here is mod of x plus 3 and this is mod of x minus 4. If I find the difference between these two points, I can say this or simply the difference between these two points, the distance is this, right? So x plus 3 is this, x minus 4 is this. So this gap is what is going to be taken here. So this entire thing becomes 7, minus 7, right? This entire gap minus this gap is nothing but effectively minus 7. Now plus... I'm doing the same thing over here. X minus 2 minus X minus 4. X minus 2 gap is nothing but this. X minus 4 is gap over here. So this entire gap minus this entire gap is effectively this gap. Right. So which is nothing but minus 2. So minus 7 minus 2 is minus 9. So simply I can say X can be anywhere less than minus 3 the value will always be minus sign, right? So we have this one case, but this is not the only case we have. X can fall over here or here or there. So we'll look for the other cases as well. In that scenario, now there is an another case where minus three, two and four. So X happens to fall in this range, this gap. X can be anywhere between minus 3 and 2. So what happens over here? We'll look at the two extremes and see the range, the values that it possibly can give us. So X can range between minus 3 and 2. So let's look at the two extremes. One possibility would be minus 3, 2, 4. Minus 3, 2, 4. In one case, x can be on minus 3 itself whereas on the other case x can be on 2. So we'll do the same thing over here. So modulus of x plus 3 minus x minus 4 plus x minus 2 minus x minus 4. So this is what we are going to do. We'll do it for both cases and see what range happens between these two points. Now Models of x minus 3, x is on minus 3 itself. So this entire thing is 0 minus this entire gap from minus 3 to 4, the gap is 7. Plus, the same thing over here, this entire gap minus 3 to 2 is 5 minus this entire gap is again 7. So minus 7 plus 5 minus 7 is minus 2. So this is minus 9. So if x happens to be on minus 3, still my value is minus 9. 
But what happens if f x goes to 2 now? I'm going to do the same thing over here. So again, x minus x plus 3 is nothing but the gap between minus 3 and 2, that is 5, minus from 2 to 4, the gap is 2, plus x minus 2, the gap here is going to be 0, minus x minus 4 is nothing but again, from x to 4, the gap is 2. So 5 minus 2 minus 2 is 1. So if x happens to be on 2, it will be 1. If it ha x happens to be on minus 3, it's going to be minus 9. So no matter what, between minus 3, comma 2 or 3, comma minus 2, the range is going to be minus 9 to 1. Right. So previous case, we noticed that we had minus 9. In this range, it can go from minus 9 to 1. So what happens if x happens to fall over here? So we'll look at that case then. So in that scenario, again, minus 3, 2, 4. Now x happens to be in this range now. So what happens in that scenario? Well, again divide it into two cases, minus 3, 2, 4, minus 3, 2, 4. So what happens if x happens to be between 2 and 4? So the two extremes are either x falls on 2 or 4. In that case 1, I will start over here, x is here, the other case x is here. Now we know that what happened when x happens to be 2? This is always 1, this entire scenario, we saw that in the previous case. When x happens to be on 2, we get this value to be 1. What happens if x happens to be on 4? We will do that. Now, x plus 3 is nothing but this entire gap minus x minus 4. So, this is going to be 7 minus 0 plus x minus 2 is going to be the gap between 2 and x which is 2 and this is going to be x minus 4 is nothing but the gap between x and 4 which is going to be 0 in this case. This is minus. So, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. So between 2 and 4, the range, it range, the value of A ranges from 1 to 9. For any value between 2 and 4, the values can range from 1 to 9. But what happens if we have x greater than 4? We also have to look for that case. In that scenario, minus 3, 2, 4. x happens to be on 4, greater than 4. So previously, like similarly, like when we saw less than minus 3, we are going to do the same thing. This gap minus this gap is effectively nothing but the gap over here, right? So x minus x plus 3 gap is between minus 3 and x minus x minus 4 is effectively over here, right? So from here to x, from here to here, effectively it is nothing but 7, right? This entire from minus 3 to 4 is the gap between x plus 3 and x minus 4. Plus, likewise, if I look for the gap from here to here and the gap from here to here, it is effectively the gap from 2 to 4, which is nothing but 2, which is 9. Now, we looked for 4 cases. In one case, it is always minus 9. In another case, it was nine, minus 9 to 1. The other case was 1 to 9 and it is always 9 depending on where x falls. So it ranges from minus 9 to 9. Any value between minus 9 to 9 is possible but they are asking for the maximum value of a. So it is either modulus of minus 9 or modulus of minus 9 which is going to be 9. So the answer option is option B.